You've seen the story by now, or maybe you haven't because big tech is trying to censor it. But Hunter Biden's hard drive has been discovered, turned over to Rudy Giuliani. Uh, and well, the rest is not yet history because, well, people don't know if they want to really look at this stuff and they're not asking Joe Biden about it. By the way, he's not denying it. Huh? All right. Remember that. No significant real denial from the Biden campaign. A lot of non-denials, but uh, let's go through it. Some dynamite stuff in here. Uh, we're hearing from Rudy Giuliani in the New York Post. They have Hunter's hard drive. They have reported that there's that thank you note from a senior Burisma executive thanking Hunter for setting up a meeting with Vice President Joe Biden. That's exactly the kind of thing that Joe Biden promised everybody was not happening. There's that. Also, there's an email outlining a proposed deal to do business with China and 10% would be reserved for the big guy. And everybody seems to think that's Vice President Biden, former Vice President Biden at that point. Also, there's all kinds of uh, unpleasantness in their photos and, well, Hunter's adventures around the world. But we have to emphasize this. Uh, Newsmax has not investigated this. We're reading the material from the New York Post. Uh, Rudy Giuliani is the president's attorney. He's also America's mayor. Uh, he has made these allegations. He's looked at the hard drive. And we all think that this needs to be looked into. Unfortunately, too much of the media will not. I wonder why that is. But for now, Rudy Giuliani joins us once again. Mr. Mayor, great to have you back on Newsmax. How are you tonight, sir? I'm okay, Craig. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, a couple of things. We have gone through the New York Post. We've seen that. But I want to get you first. I heard a little bit of your radio show. And there are some rumblings that Hunter Biden at one point, and I'm hearing that the Senate might be on to this, something like $800 million may have gone through Hunter Biden's Morgan Stanley brokerage account. What can you tell us about that, please? Actually, Greg, I'm not as familiar with that as the Senate committee is. I, I know the rumors. I've talked to two of the lawyers involved. So here's what I know. I know that there's a Morgan Stanley account, allegedly, involving um, at least Hunter, his partner, uh, Devin Archer, who's been convicted of federal crimes, and uh, possibly Chris, uh, Chris Hines, the uh, stepson of former Secretary of State John Kerry. And there's an arrangement to launder, I can't say 800 million, but a huge amount of money for which they were paid a couple of million dollars up front. That's all I know. I don't know if it's true or not. I can find a few things on the hard drive that, uh, that corroborate that, but I can't find like a memo yet. But I have to emphasize, I've only been through half of this hard drive. Let me ask uh, you about that, are, Rudy. This, uh, is, this, uh, is, like, this is voluminous. And it already reveals about five major federal crimes and about 30 to 40 million dollars that went to the Biden family as bribes to Vice President Biden. All right. Described by his son in the following language. I'll read it to you. This is I don't receive any respect. And that's fine, I guess. Works for you, apparently. I hope all of you can do what I did and pay for everything for this entire family. For 30 years. It's really hard. But don't worry, unlike Pop, I will make you give me half your salary. So basically, uh, Biden was using his son in a horrible way as a bag man. You would think he would get some kind of a political flunky to be his bad man. But, he's, but instead, as his bag man, he used his son, who's afflicted with drug addiction. And over the period of years, he made the drug addiction much, much worse by having his son involved with some of the most crooked people in the world. So, Mr. Mayor, a couple of things. Uh, number one, the documents, the one that you just summarized, I read that in the paper. I also saw the email between uh, Vadim Parzarsky and uh, oh. Hunter. Very interesting. Let me ask you this, though. Are there any documents, and I know there's a lot of things that you say document Hunter Biden's unusual sexual activities, but are there yeah, any documents, any more documents that tie Vice President Biden to Burisma or to money from Hunter Biden? I mean, let's sure. face it, it's Biden, the father who's on the ballot in two weeks. Anything else other than what we've seen so far tying yeah, him to Hunter's business? Yeah, two major things that I found 
in, in addition to this, which basically says that uh, Biden was getting 50 percent of the bribe money, which makes sense, actually. Uh, there's a there's a. Um, well, this is really a very, very sensitive one. There's a uh, text message to his father in which he says the following. And he's discussing um, he's discussing his uh, sister-in-law, who for quite some time was his lover. And he says, uh, she, she told my therapist that I was sexually inappropriate. This would be with a unnamed 14-year-old girl. When she says that I FaceTime naked with the unnamed 14-year-old girl, and the reason I can't have her out to see me is because I'll walk around naked smoking crack talking Tom girls on FaceTime. When she was pressed, she said that the unnamed 14-year-old girl never said anything like that, but the bottom line is that I created and caused a very unsafe environment for the kids. Uh, this is supported by numerous pictures of underage uh, girls. So, uh, uh, Mr. Mayor, I uh, that is look, that's dynamite stuff, uh, and I've seen. I it. turned it over to the. To, to the you turned, turned it. You turned it over, it to, over the, to the Delaware State Police, correct? Yes, yesterday, Bernie Carrick and I turned it over to the Delaware State Police because we're right. very uncomfortable with this. So we're very uncomfortable with the fact that these underage girls were not protected. So here's the deal, Hunter Biden. Let's face it, he's never going to be elected to anything, and he'll probably wind up in jail someday for something. Who knows? But I'm more concerned about the vice president because he's the one who's running. Right. I see that. But you know what I don't see, Mr. This was sent to the vice president. Here's the deal. And look, I want to be clear here. Sounds I'm like a, him. Yeah, but you know what is this not there. To him. What, did, what, what did he do about it? Exactly. What did he do about it? Well, for three years. <laughs> Mr. He, Mayor, he the only thing is in that. Hold on a second. In the text messaging you just showed me and we went through, we've got Junior who is Joe Biden talking to Hunter Biden. We have no acknowledgement in what we just saw from the vice president. We don't know what he knows or whatever. And this is all family drama. And by the way, it's so late. It's big. T- it's it, they could be in trouble. I and I'm glad you got it out there. But I want to know, is there anything concrete tying Joe Biden to Burisma money, money from China? Uh, you know, it does not look good at all to me, those emails and what they were up to. Sure. Anything in that regard. And if you haven't yeah. found it yet, you're kind of saying it might still be there because how much of this hard drive no, have I you been through? It already. You found it. There's a memo in here that says that 10% of the money that was being uh, whacked up, that was $10 million a year, and then 50% of the profits with three Chinese communists, one of whom was a Chinese uh, intelligence operative, that 10% of that was going to H for the big guy. So we've identified the big guy several ways. One, right after that text message, uh, email rather, there's an email that is asking for keys for the office they're going to share with the Chinese communists. And the first key they ask for is for Joe Biden, the big guy. Yeah. Number two, there's an anonymous source that has told uh, Fox News that the big guy is definitively Joe Biden. He's one of the people involved in the deal. I know his name. I'm not at liberty to tell you. But I'm told that within a day or two, he's going to go public. I can't wait to hear that- the information when it's ready to go public. Mr. Mayor, a couple of quick things. The attorney general, uh, we know the president is kind of impatient with him. I interviewed him last week. I said, is he going to be around for a second term? He said, no comment. Uh, Looks like this hard drive may have been in the FBI's possession for over a year at this point. No, no, I think seven months. Correct. Right. Seven months, to be fair. All right. So at this point, what do you what do you is is the attorney general going to do anything before Election Day? I have no idea. All I can tell you is if you were to look at the photographs on this hard drive, and you didn't report it to the police. Um, well, if you were a law enforcement officer, you'd be guilty of a felony. And if you're just a normal citizen, you'd be a horrible human being. There are numerous pictures here of uh, girls that are being, uh, I mean, they shouldn't be there. That's all I can tell you. I understand. And if, the Delaware, if the Delaware State Police don't do anything about this, it would be really a tragic thing. So, Mr. Mayor, a couple of quick things. We don't have too much more time. Uh, Do you need help? 
I mean, you're, I'm not a tech person. I know you're not a tech person. Um, and also, you know, I love you. We go way back. You've got a lot of detractors in the country. Everybody does. Oh, it's sure. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. O- only because it's true. Do you do you need, would you like any help at this point? Because one thing that I don't think is fair, quite frankly, to you, the media should have been helping and assisting in pursuing this themselves. They never did. They won't. They refuse to. I mean, and, and, and sometimes, Mr. Mayor, you're kind of, you know, you're a lot to handle for them. Is there anybody else who could possibly help? Do you need help? Do you want help? Yeah, sure, I want help. I mean, I've got half a hard drive to go through. Instead, I have an iron curtain that is trying to censor everything that's coming out. It's unprecedented. We've got, and, and it tells you how damaging this information is. I will tell you, uh, Greg, this is a... Uh, uh, probably the worst scandal I've ever seen. And there's a depravity to it that's horrendous, which is why I reported it to the Delaware police. And I hope they're independent enough to um, investigate it properly. But there are images on here where you don't realize how damaging this is to young people, there's something wrong with you. And Joe Biden knows that. Plus, Joe Biden is the one who used his son to be a bag man for 20 years when he knew his son was a drug addict. This is not about Hunter Biden. It's about Joe Biden. It's about what a crook he is and what a horrible father he is. Mr. Mayor, how about this? You've got the hard drive. Now, one thing that's different between how this is going down and, say, what happened to Hillary Clinton with WikiLeaks, I believe they made the data available. I mean, like they made the they put a lot of it online so news organizations could access it. In this situation, we're kind of like, you know, waiting for you and maybe the New York Post to kind of spoon feed us every now and then. Have you thought about just putting it all out there, whatever you can do sure, legally? I, I, sure, I have if I could find a news organization that's independent enough and willing to really deal with it honestly, as opposed to the iron curtain that I have of Twitter not being willing to put out the New York Post story, Facebook, New York Times, New York Post, uh, New York uh, uh, the other several of the other New York uh, publications, not the New York Post, obviously, the Washington Post, NBC, ABC, CBS. There's an iron curtain of censorship over this. And I'm going to tell you why, because this is fatal to Joe Biden as a candidate. It should be fatal to him as a human being, because I don't mean fatal, but I mean, it should be he should be prosecuted for this. These are major yeah. bribes in which he sold out the United States to China. And there's a sexual depravity to this that is uh, disgusting. You know, uh, one of the reasons why they don't do it, the mainstream, and they should, uh, they feel guilty over how they treated. They think they were unfair to Hillary Clinton in 16 with those emails. And so she got away with major crimes. Well, they're atoning, by the way. That's one of the reasons they don't want to do to Joe Biden. They think what they did to Hillary. They think that. And it's totally. Not fair. And uh, we need to know. And by the way, last thing, it's indicative that this stuff has veracity that Joe Biden has been in hiding, only went out for one ice cream (laughs) and then ran back to the basement. Right. I mean, that's almost tantamount to a confession. As a prosecutor, I will tell you, he hasn't denied a single text or email, nor has Hunter, nor have they denied that this is his hard drive. And this is five days, six days now. And there's no doubt this is his hard drive. And there's no doubt that the Biden family over 30 years, in the words of of him, Hunter Biden, made millions and millions of dollars, of which he had to give half to his father. That's the bribery scheme. What he is, what the kid was used as was a bag man. And that's disgraceful. Uh, Joe Biden had a bunch of Washington flunkies who could have been his bag man, yeah. not his kid. Not if his this kid. kid has a bad crack problem, the reason is that his father put him in situations he shouldn't have been in. Mr. That's Mayor? Maybe even more disgraceful than the crimes he committed. I, I think you're fighting the good fight, and I know that can be lonely, and I know you're taking it from all sides, but you're clearly on to something, and Joe you're Biden right seems to be running, set, running scared. To be continued, America's Mayor Rudy scared. Giuliani, we appreciate it so much, okay? Thank you, Greg. God you, bless you. You bet. All the best. All the best. All right, Rudy Giuliani, a lot there. We'll be back in a moment uh, with a lot of cool stuff in our new studio.